So in my most recent video, we were taking a look at Mystic Light from MSI. And in that video, I clearly stated that I could not, no matter what I did, get the Corsair memory to be detected within that software. And so, uh, you know, I tried a whole bunch of different things in preparation for that video. But I had a viewer reach out to me and uh, just make the simple suggestion that you needed to have Corsair IQ loaded uh, at the same time you had Mystic Light going in order for that to work. Now, I had tried that step. You know, there is a place in IQ uh, for software integrations. And I think in the older version, there's a setting there for, you know, to allow SDKs to uh, work with that software. Uh, so I had done that, but it didn't work no matter what I did. So anyways, that got my curiosity flowing this week. And I wanted to go back and revisit that and understand why this memory was not being detected even though it's on the supported list. So long story short, initially what my problem was, was Signal RGB. And now I had been playing with Signal RGB in preparation for that video. Now I had been right clicking that software and shutting it down and then going about my testing. And what I found, if I just get right to it, is, is that doesn't work. Uh, you know, Signal RGB has a lot of ability to control these devices and kind of interacts and messes with it. So the only way I finally got it to work was to go into Signal RGB and stop it from starting on boot up. And after I did that and I rebooted it and Signal RGB just never was a thing, uh, then the memory was being detected just fine. So obviously somehow it's getting its hooks into that software uh, you know, that remain even after you quit the software. So I wanted to take you through just real quick as to uh, what this integration looks like. And if you're having other problems because if I'm being honest over the last week, working with uh, Mystic Light, uh, MSI and Corsair, the stability of that has been less than perfect. There's been times where it's misbehaved and acted in ways that weren't readily apparent as to why it was doing what it's doing. Generally speaking though, I've been able to get it to work and also the keyboard and the mouse showed up at that point. So I just wanted to take you through uh, real quick how to do this. Now you can see here with Mystic Light, uh, the only thing that's detected is my motherboard, you know, which includes all of the ports on the board, and I've got the AMD uh, RGB heatsink detected here. So go ahead and get IQ open, and then you want to click the gear icon up here and go to the settings. You want to go ahead and make sure this is start on system startup, so we'll go ahead and check that. And then the place you want to look for the service from MSI is in software and games, and you want to make sure you have at least software integrations selected. And then active clients here, you should see, I think it's an uh, LED uh, gatekeeper software here. That should be showing up here if MSI is uh, registered with IQ and only then will you get control over this. Now you can try turning Mystic Light off and then back on. Now I've had to do that a few times to kind of keep things synced up. But really what you wanna do initially at this point is you just wanna make sure that this is enabled and make sure that Corsair IQ, the software integrations is enabled, and then go ahead and reboot the software. So let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and see if that will detect the uh, memory. All right, so now that we've got the PC booted back up, let's go ahead and get into the Corsair software, go back to the gear icon, and we'll come back over here to software and games. Now here we can see that the service is registered, ledkeeper2.exe. I would say until you see that uh, client in there, uh, it will not work. So just make sure that that's in there. And then we can open up MSI Mystic Light. Now we've got Mystic Light loaded and you can see here that we now have the mouse, the keyboard and the RAM from Corsair. And we should be able to go ahead and now just apply the settings to it. So we'll go ahead and just change the colors a couple of times, put a green on there and apply it. And it should apply across the board, even to the RAM at this point. I've noticed that it's not real fast getting it done. Anyways, uh, it has set everything to green. That probably is not coming out very well on this camera, but uh, it is green. Mouse and keyboard look good as well. And you should be able to go ahead and select all of the other lighting effects as well. You know, rainbow and so on and so forth down the list and it should just apply to all of them. At best, I mentioned earlier that it's not been 100% stable. I've had a couple of times where a couple of these objects have just dropped out of Mystic Light. You know, if I've unplugged the mouse a couple of times, I've had just certain weird things going on with it, you know, and then maybe it doesn't respond to lighting. I've had a little bit of luck of just turning off Mystic Light and turning it back on, you know, that kind of kicks it back into gear. A couple times I've had to reboot 
you know, just kind of repeat this process, reboot, make sure they're both open, make sure the client is there, and then it kind of reestablishes itself. Now, a couple of things that have really caused it some issues that I've noticed. So anytime I plug in the Commander Core XT or the Commander Pro to the Corsair uh, ecosystem, it doesn't work. It won't detect at all. It doesn't matter what I do. I come in here and the, it, it won't even register uh, as a client. So, you know, maybe somebody knows a little more information about that. I haven't spent hours and hours and hours trying to understand exactly why that is. So if you take a look at IQ, though, there, there is a devices tab here. And I even tried coming in here and turning off the software integration for the Core XT, you know, and turning it on and messing around with some of these settings here it made no difference. Anytime this was connected to USB, it just didn't work. So overall, I've been able to get this to work and it functions for the most part. Uh, you know, like I said, there's been a lot of stability issues, just some goofy little things where things are just dropping out at odd times and it doesn't quite make sense. And I've got to go through this, you know, these gyrations of, you know, stopping and starting services and rebooting the PC to get things to show back up. And, you know, obviously if the controllers are connected, it doesn't work at all for me. Uh, maybe your experiences are a little bit different. It could be this PC, my particular setup, some software that I've got going on. But uh, anyway, so if you pin me down, would I use this as a permanent solution? No, this is not my first thing to go to. Uh, I don't mind working on stuff. In fact, that's fun, you know, to do like for a video or stuff like this. But if you're really just going about your day-to-day -day, uh, work and you're playing games and things like that, sometimes you just don't want to be messing with little flaky issues like this. So it seems to me that if you're just using the MSI motherboard itself, you know, using the onboard ports, things like that, that works really good and that's been pretty solid. Uh, using some of the periphery components that are supported in here, that's just been flaky in my opinion. Your experiences with this might vary greatly and I expect that they probably do based on the way this has behaved for me. So let me know what your experiences are in the comments below with using Corsair products with Mystic Light. A, have you even tried it? You know, would you, I, I suspect a lot of people just wouldn't waste their time with it. They're going to use the IQ software or as I'm uh, exploring more and more signal RGB, open RGB, hopefully I have a video on those uh, coming up here in the near future. But uh, anyways, let me know what your experiences are with it. I'm curious as to what people think. As always, if I can answer any questions, be of any assistance, you know, if you're trying to set up Corsair and Mystic Light, I'm happy to help and give pointers where I can. But anyways, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, as usual about this video, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get to those uh, the best I can and when I can. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching.